Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be reacting to Excalibur. He's about to fight some dude from Me Metal Gear Solid. Uh, look, I never played I never played both of those. So yeah, uh, links to the original creator will be down below. I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. So hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Oh yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and then don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe to my other, uh, my other two channels. They will be linked down below, and they will be in the end cards at the end. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Warframe. Don't miss Warframe's highly anticipated digital event, TennoCon, on July 6th. Okay, we got it. Okay, oh shit. What is that nigga? Is he a lightning bolt? What happened? Hold up. Go back. There you go. Warframes are some of the most advanced technology ever developed. Contrary to popular belief though, they are not cyborgs. They're more akin to super-powered biomechanical vessels that are unlike anything I've ever seen. Trust me, this is gonna get crazy. Ew. What the fuck? Trust me. What the fuck is Oh my word. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. Keep that mask. Oh, I think they cracked it, but keep that mask on. I just helped you fix it. That, oh my lord, Jesus. This is gonna get crazy, so spoilers ahead. Yeah, Go yeah, just it. give me the lore already, Wiz. Long ago in the Origin system, the Orican Empire discovered the Void, an extra-dimensional spatial realm that allowed for travel across vast cosmic distances. However, when they sent the first colony ship through it, the Zeraman 10 0 the Void drove all the adults on board into an insane murderous frenzy. Ah. Sounds like my first wedding reception. Okay. The children, though, absorbed the Void's energies, imbuing them with the powers they needed to defend themselves against their mad parents and survive. When the Oh, shit. So it made the parents crazy, and they gave the kids superpowers. So basically, it was like the people from Mom and Dad, if you've never seen it. Oh, that's a funny-ass movie. Uh, that's a funny-ass movie. Uh, what do you call it? Alvin, Al, Alvin the Alien, he did a review on it. It's so funny. Go go watch his review if you haven't seen it, if you don't want to see it. But it has it's a Nicolas Cage movie, so it should tell you everything everything you need to know and everything else. And then, oh, when they went through the void, it's like when, uh, what was it? Like, boys, they got that they got that V injection or any other superhero to power movie. As Airman 10 Zero emerged from the void, the children were permanently changed. They had become... The Tenno. Well, I'm sure those traumatized little whippersnappers received only the best of care. If only. Instead, the Tenno were taught to use their void powers to control Warframes through a process called transference. But their abilities were so powerful that the Orican grew to fear the Tenno and tried to have them destroyed. The Tenno were hidden from the Orican and put into a deep sleep. That is, until one day, they were reawakened to defend a war-torn origin system guided by their adoptive mother, the Lotus. Well, that bitch would have been SOL if y'all just decided to put me to sleep and shit and I not confirm or not have me confirm or deny that I, uh, that I will whoop your ass. You been, See, you know what? I swear to God, this is why protagonists are so much better than me. Oh. Because I would have just left your ass for dead. I'm just being honest and fucking serious. Oh, they're basically sci-fi child soldiers. Sort of. Though, the Lotus does care deep. So basically, like the people from Attack on Titans. <laughs> deeply for her adopted children, and has devoted her efforts to protecting as many Tenno as possible. There are almost 50 different Warframes currently out there, each with their own unique abilities and combat styles. But I think that the very first created Excalibur is the deadliest. He is kinda reminding me of someone. A master swordsman with his razor sharp skana, Excalibur is an expert at racking up quick kills faster than the eye can track. Jesus He's God. unmatched in skill and precision with a blade, especially when augmented by his unique abilities, like Radial Blind, which releases a flash of light to incapacitate nearby foes, or Radial Javelin, which blasts out a wide burst of energy oh, spears. Shit. But his greatest and most iconic is easily the Exalted Blade, a sword of light that can slice just about anything to pieces. You don't get much cooler than that. Huge ass laser guns, Wiz. Huge ass laser guns automatically make you cooler. Speaking of, Wiz, if you noticed that any of your, say, uh, super weapons are missing, it definitely wasn't me and I didn't learn how to break into your weapons vault. What? <sighs> Well, most of that Holy is no shit. big deal. So long as you didn't take the- And if you no longer see the moon in the sky, just a bunch of, um, 
Moon-colored rubble? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, great. Come back in a few days as we cover Excalibur's opponent, the cyborg ninja Raiden from Metal Gear. Hell. Well, that's that's a motherfucker he's going to be fighting. Um, If I can be honest and serious, I have no idea who's going to win. <laughs> I don't know who's going to win, who's going to lose. Uh, This is going to sound like an epic rap battle of history. You decide. Uh, But... Hopefully when I hopefully when I watch it and it's all together, then I can give a better answer. But links for the original creator will be down below. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Support me on all these up here. Uh, support me on um, the links down below. Support me on all my other channels. Um, and like I like my grandmother always states, so long. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. You gon' spin out them close to me, uh Bring out the camp, would you post me, uh Who would you do to get close to me, uh I blow the flowers, that's perfect I hit it once in this wedding I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy Bust up a bag and she let me Then blow the gas like we at the Getty She like, you gotta respect me